What's going on everybody, Mortem here, this time bringing you a video on clearing out my gaming backlog and what that experience looked like, as all it took was devoting my entire life more or less to playing video games non-stop for work. Which is obviously a tiny exaggeration, though not that far from reality. This video is a little different from my usual stuff, I just kind of wanted to talk about how I am getting through the last game of the backlog I have in terms of the games I wanted to play but never got the chance to. And to give a little bit of background to that, if you followed the channel for a while, this won't be news, but I was incredibly poor growing up. I was homeless as a teenager for a while, and as a result of that, there was a huge like decade roughly of gaming that I didn't really get to take part in at the time, which was like 2000 to 2010 roughly. Most of the games that came out in that period I simply didn't play. And over the past couple years, with my YouTube channel finally taking off and being able to step into playing and reviewing games full time, I've been using that as an excuse to go back and play and review older titles that I wanted to play but never got the chance to. Of course, in addition to reviewing new titles that I've been interested in as well. And while it was certainly a convenient excuse to do that, I do also think that it is in the best interests of someone who reviews games for a living to review as many of them as possible, especially older titles, because I think when you almost entirely focus on new releases, it can lead to you kind of missing the context on certain features, innovations, that type of thing, which as a reviewer I find would be important to mention. And for those reasons, this has kind of been the perfect opportunity to do something I've always wanted to do while being able to call it work. Though that said, as much as I would love to claim that my backlog is completely gone, that's just not true. As in gaming these days, there's always something new around the corner, and there's always something else to play. So even in terms of older games, there are still things I would like to get to, just to check them out and see them for myself, but they weren't games I was really itching to play, so to speak. An example there would be Kingdom Come Deliverance. Looks really cool, absolutely want to check it out, but it wasn't very high on my list, if you will. Now this kind of all started roughly halfway through 2020. 21 or so when my YouTube channel started really taking off and I was able to devote more time to it before eventually going full-time a short while later, especially since reviewing a lot of these older titles I felt really drew a lot of attention to the channel, especially the CRPGs that I love a great deal and are easily one of my favorite genres. And in terms of CRPGs specifically, because I went back and did all of that and their relatively slow pace of releases for that genre, I've hit just about every major CRPG people think of when they use that term. Now that's not to say I've done literally all of them. There are, for instance, the gold box games that I haven't touched yet, or a lot of the even older titles. But again, a lot of the major ones I've pretty much done at this point. I'm wrapping up the last Infinity Engine game right now, actually. But even beyond the major ones, we've even hit some of the more obscure stuff, like Lionheart, Legacy of the Crusader, and even more of the niche stuff, like Underrail. Though, beyond just what would be typically considered CRPGs, I was also looking to play, as I mentioned, all those games from that period I never got the chance to. And some of the major titles in that particular era were things like the entire Mass Effect series that I never got to play, the Dragon Age series, or at least Origins and two. And I've even been able to check out stuff I've had more of just a passing interest in, like Kingdoms of Amalur, or Control, for instance. And I've been able to do all of that under the guise of work. Over the past year and a half, I've reviewed roughly like 70 or 80 games to that effect. I don't have the exact number in front of me, but it's quite a bit, and there are several more planned for this year, actually, before we wrap it up. But as I alluded to earlier, I think the most important thing to come from all of that has been the experience it's given me with a lot of those older games, because I think that really helps put into context newer games being released, where they're drawing inspiration from, where the mechanics have come from, have we seen those before in previous titles, what's the innovation look like? All questions and concepts that I can more easily wrap my head around now that I've had this much larger experience with previous titles, which is experience I think is incredibly important when this is your job. But this has been something that's been on my mind a little bit lately and I wanted to talk about it as running through all these games, again, that I previously had not been able to play due to my circumstances at the time, and now being able to go through them as an adult who's doing this as a job, has been incredibly cathartic for me. As if I wasn't doing this for work, there's pretty much zero chance I would have been able to do this as it has been an incredibly time-consuming endeavor. And while it certainly is time-consuming and work in some ways, it is nonetheless something I am incredibly passionate about, 
and I absolutely love doing it, and there's really nothing else I would rather do, which means this has been honestly a dream come true for me. And so where I want to leave this video off on is just saying thank you to everybody watching, because without your support and viewership, I quite frankly wouldn't be here, or at least in this position. I would almost certainly still be making videos, as I was doing it for five or six years before the channel started to blow up, so I think it's safe to say I'd definitely still be making the videos, just nobody would be watching. But nonetheless, wanted to take a moment to say thank you again to everybody watching. I certainly hope that people find value in these videos discussing older games as well as newer stuff. With the channel seeing so much growth lately, I've actually been able to start getting out reviews before the actual release dates to help people make up their mind and determine those purchasing decisions on their own ahead of a game's actual release, which as you might imagine has seen a lot more growth for the channel. And while with my approach to reviews being after 100% usually, I don't think anybody really expects me to hit any arbitrary release date, but being able to get these videos up before the release date, when I'm given enough time to do so, has been obviously very beneficial. And that's something I've only been able to start being able to do purely because of the growth of the channel. So again, thank you. The past year and a half has been just an incredibly cathartic experience where I've gotten to play through these games and have experiences I never thought I would have the time to experience, and I really can't say thank you enough. But that's pretty much all I've got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed it. May you wander in wisdom and have an amazing day.